Thanks very much. So, I am the right wing act of the night. Any other right wingers in the room? <laughs> Anyone else likes taking responsibility for their life choices instead of blaming others? <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you are not into right-wing politics, don't worry, I'm also heavily into the Latin language. And I'm a keen vexillologist. Any fans? <laughs> Anybody knows what vexillology is? No, I don't. Flags. Flags, very good. Who said that? Very good, thanks. Vexillum is Latin for flag. Vexillology is the study of flags. Give me a flag, please. Burundi. Burundi. Okay. <laughs> I brought this onto myself. <laughs> Just kidding, I've got it covered. Uh, Burundi, you know the Scottish flag? There's a south iron, you know, there's a there's diagonal cross. Um, imagine that same flag, except that the four triangles, two are red, two are green, and in the middle you have a white circle uh, bearing three crosses. Am I right? The capital is Bujumbura. Bonus information for you. <laughs> Entertaining and educating. Now, what was the whole point of that? The whole point of that bit was not to impress the ladies. Uh, oh, really? It would be the first time. Um, high school was tough, seriously. Now, um, the point of that bit is for you to be reassured when we get to the right-wing stuff that I know what I'm talking about. In my free time, I also fight terrorism. Anyone else? No? I was trained by the MI5. I wanted to serve the British Empire, or whatever is left of it. Um, so I, I called the MI5, I say, uh, hi, you are hiring some linguists, and I speak the language of the enemy. None of your business, how? <laughs> Sir, uh, we can't hire you because you don't have a British parent. You need to have at least one British parent. You should have read the employability criteria on our website. But I'm a citizen. Sir, we can't hire British nationals who don't have at least one British parent because those are the people we want to monitor in the first place. <laughs> so you are telling me you give th thousands of passports to people but you don't trust them and then you use taxpayers' money to monitor them? I'm so gonna use this in my right-wing comedy routine. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, if you want to combat terrorism, there's still something you can do. We understand you like flags. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> Each time a terrorist attack happens somewhere, add the flag of that target country to your Facebook profile picture. The terrorists really, really hate that. <laughs> it's a technique developed by the millennials has been working perfectly so far. <laughs> so I've been doing that so far. I've been inflicting so much damage to ISIS. <laughs> I went beyond that. I started hashtag, you know, pray for Paris, pray for Nice, pray for Berlin and so on. Who started them? This guy. I've, I've done so much damage to terrorists that I live in the constant fear of being personally targeted by ISIS. In fact, the other night I had my worst nightmare. I was captured by ISIS, but they told me. Is that funny to you, my OG? That's not the funny part, but... Just kidding, I'll get whatever laughs I can get. Right wing routine in London, what can I do? Uh, so they said, I was captured by ISIS, right? But they said they would let me live if I killed another captive. I know. So they took me to this cell, and there I see George Galloway and Diane Abbott. And they tell me you can kill only one of these two. I know, I know, it doesn't bear thinking about, does it? Hard choice. I'll be honest with you, that joke works better in Kent, usually. <laughs> That's where most of my fans are based. <laughs> it's not easy being a right-wing comedian, uh, because I have to write all my jokes myself from scratch. There's no one else to copy. <laughs> but the upside for me is that I'm always the funniest right-wing act of the night. <laughs> so in my remaining time, I would like to ease the tension by talking about a breezy light subject, identity politics. 
you know, I don't think you guys become fluid and uh, self-constructed. You are who you say you are. So a man comes out, he says, I've got a penis, but I'm a, man, I'm a woman. Everybody's like, good for you. That's how you define yourself. That's who you are. Fair enough. Okay. A woman comes out, I'm dating other women, but I still define myself as heterosexual. Everybody's like, well done you. If that's how you relate to the outside world, that's who you are. But when I come out and say I like you, Kip, <laughs> the left liberal comes and says, you can't do you, Kip. Both your parents were Middle Eastern. You are not white enough for you, Kip. I'm not white enough. He's got a penis. He gets to be a woman. I'm not white enough. I should go like Nigel Farage and his penis looks like a vagina. <laughs> It's always nice to see the so-called anti-racist being more preoccupied with your race than the so-called racist. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a bit uncomfortable. Uh, I have been, for any surprises, the funniest driving act of the night. Thank you very much.